Former Republican Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney weighed in on the Nashville school shooting yesterday, posting on Twitter, quote, we need to spend less time banning books and more time stopping the horrific gun violence in our schools. Her comments were made in response to our friend Jenna Bush Hager, who said yesterday on the Today Show, uh, when she talked about knowing one of the girls killed in Monday shooting and criticizing some states for prioritizing banning books instead of the safety yes. of children. And who could argue with that? That uh, is it, the most ridiculous you, parallel. Well, it, going it, on it's here. insane, uh, John Hyland. You have these people that, oh, we have to take care of children. We, we need to ban books. We need, we, need to, we need to freak out. We need to have these vague guidelines that so freak out librarians and teachers that they pull books about Hank Aaron and Roberto Clemente off the shelf. We, 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 we're going to go around accusing everybody of, 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 of teaching critical race theory when, in fact, th that pretty soon gets dumbed down to, to saying that black Americans uh, uh, have, have been historically discriminated against systematically discriminate against something that you could have judicial notice taken of like in all 50 states right you had a so a, so they freak out about these things and yet they're cool with schools getting shot up over and over and over again because they won't pass legislation that will do something to stop it yeah what's the body count on critical race theory like what's the what's yeah. the, the tally of uh, dead children uh, because of race theory. What's the dead, the body count on those Roberto Clemente and Hank Aaron biographies? The one I saw the other day is that, you know, you got a bunch of people who are now who are concerned about having children be able to see Michelangelo's The David mm -hmm. because yeah. there's an expo yeah. there's exposed, I suppose, penis and genitalia there. They say it's pornography. The Italians are like, it's Michelangelo. What are you talking about? I, the Italians are real sensible. This is right. like what people are spending their energy on. Yeah. They're like, they're, we, we got to really be careful about that, showing the David because... That's the body count on that. What's the body They're count on that one? Literally, it's making bunker. up it's, wedge it, issues yes. about children when, in fact, the greatest threat to children is staring them right in the face. Number and, one and there is, of death. and, and there, they won't even talk about it. Yes, and there is, and that is the kind of the thing. Is it's like even by the most dramatic, even if you granted a bunch of the ludicrous arguments about the harms done by these things that the culture warriors on the right want to fo focus on. Again, I ask the question, what's the body count? Like how many, how many dead kids are we talking about? Someone will be on Twitter and, oh, you know, if you let the permissive culture, that's what leads to, shut up. The, the, it's killing these people. You guys said it before. I mean, I hate to say it when Joe's right, he's right. It's like, the more guns, the more dead, the more the guns, more, more death from guns. And you look around, this has been something we've been singing this song for a long time, but you can't say it enough times. The, the Western world, there's no other country like this. And, there, and the, what's the difference? The difference is our policies suck and their policies are more or less sensible. You can argue around the margins, but you look around Western Europe, there's a the reason way, why there's not body counts in schools there yeah, over generations. John, we don't have to compare the United States to Sweden. Our Luxembourg, you know, Mara, you can compare Tennessee with Connecticut. That's right. You can compare states that have the most permissive gun laws with the states that have the least permissive gun laws. And shock of all shocks, you have where there are more guns in states, there are more deaths. Yeah, and it's paradoxical because you have those culture warriors talking about freedom. Well, freedom to do what? To have to talk to your kids at night? that you know, explain to them that a shooter might come into their school and that there's nothing to be done about it. Nobody wants to live this way. And so I guess the question that I ask is, why are uh, folks who are kind of glomming onto these culture issues, culture war issues like critical race theory, why are they more afraid of black people or of those you know, issues or of transgender uh, people or of drag shows than they are of uh, concerned about their own children, right. you know, in a school. And, and I mean, I ask that seriously. It's like, what is it about this country that uh, won't, pr won't allow us to have a rational conversation about this? Because, you know, we talk a lot on this show about patriotism and the exceptionalism of the United States, and there are a lot of things to be proud of. But on this issue, the, the rest of the world is looking at us and just going, wow. What is wrong with them? Yeah. And it's embarrassing. And, and how do you explain uh, this lack of action to these parents and to these kids? 
I mean, it, it's almost, it's hard to contemplate. You know, I spent, I spent the weekend with my five-year-old goddaughter, and I don't want to have this conversation with her. Her mother doesn't want to have this conversation right. with her. We shouldn't have to have this conversation with her. Um, and yet, you know, we're asking these children to be braver than these politicians. Yep. Right. Why is that? You saw this, uh, you saw Congressman Burchett, right? Tim Burchett. Yeah. Uh, from Tesla. Oh, we can't do so anything about it. Th well, th yes, but that's a guy, go take a look at this video. He's the guy who says, we're not gonna catch these guys with criminals, nothing to do about it. A couple weeks ago, he saw a video talking about the drag, the drag law in Minnesota, Tennessee. We are, we are not gonna tolerate these drag queens. We can, we can shut them down. We can, we might have to tolerate Again, them. We, the can, body we, count. Can, we cannot tolerate when we will not allow this to happen in our state, these people. This guy's, that, that, two weeks ago, that congressman on the high horse about how we gotta, we gotta shut the drag shows down. So they can do something, but, but, they can the, do something about, about the drag right. queens. They yes. can't do something about little children being killed. And again, let's talk about the weapon of choice, Jonathan Amir, for, for one shooter after another shooter after another shooter, it's an AR-15. Assault. And and if you if you if you try to say that there are too many and they should stop being sold, people freak out and talk about their constitutional rights. They need to protect themselves. Again, I'm not going to get too much into guns. I don't want to freak people out watching this show, but. People that I've, 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 I've gone into ranges with, and we, we've talked about it, and we've laughed at the argument yeah. that you need an AR-15 to protect your home. And I, oh, some woman after Newtown saying, I need an AR-15 to protect my children in my house. Let me tell you something. Again, don't want to get too much into details here. A shotgun, <laughs> it's really easy. You know what you do with a shotgun? You aim it at the frame of the door. Nobody can miss. Again, I don't want to get into the details, but that's the best way to protect your home. An AR-15 is so, it's, it's, it's just not. And, and, and this argument that you need these weapons of war, and these are weapons of war. Yes. It's the reason why people didn't carry shotguns around in Vietnam. They're weapons of war to kill a lot of people, not an intruder in your house. And so all this argument about protecting your family, your rights, it's all garbage. It's all lie. It's all paranoia fed by the NRA. It's all paranoia fed by gun manufacturers because they're selling a ton of these guns and they've been making a ton of money off of it over the past 20 years. Yeah.